Hey, this is Mark Henry, author of Dancing with Energy, Healing Magic, and Mysticism, here to talk to you more about the occult and the paranormal. Well, I, um, I know it's been a few weeks since I did my last video. Um, I've had some pretty extensive uh, computer issues that have occurred over multiple devices. So um, now I think I'm back on track after getting some pretty good IT people to help fix things. So without further ado, let's go on to our topic. So our topic today is going to be on the lover's card of the uh, Rider Waite deck. And this is the sixth card of the Major Arcana. And um, to me, it is one of the more complex of the Major Arcana because it can speak on many different levels, psychologically, spiritually, relationships all those sorts of areas, those realms. So, um, let me show you what it looks like if you're not familiar. Okay, so this is the lover's card. So you see a man and a woman. You see an angel and you see a sun behind it. And you see two trees behind each of the figures. So before I get started, let me remind um, everyone that you should not take the Major Arcana, any one card, or even the Lover's card, and use that as the basis of an entire reading. Um, remember that um, every card, including the Lover's, exists in a particular context, which would be where it is placed in the card spread. Um, also, those so cards that surround it will maximize or minimize the influence of it. Also remember that the lover's card, um, the interpretation may change depend on the question of the querent. If, for example, the person wasn't asking about love, but they were asking about a financial interaction, then the lover's card, everything being equal, would mean something different. So, just want to kind of give you a reminder. So, when we're talking about this card, here is the description. So, I showed you, um, again, a man and a woman. It might be a little bit better to see. Okay. So, now, if you look at this, it's kind of rem reminiscent of the Garden of Eden scene in the Old Testament. So you have the woman who is there naked, possibly Eve. You have a tree behind it, which represents the tree of knowledge. Tree of knowledge of good and evil. Then you have the male there with a tree behind him, which is thought in this tarot to be um, the tree of life. Behind them, you see, you see some clouds, which can, enter, can mean the mental. Above that, you see an angel, which is often interpreted as the angel Raphael. And above that is the sun, typically thought of as the divine, as God, uh, the universal force. Okay, so let's get into a little bit more about what all this means. Okay. So if you're looking at basically what the, the lovers, this is the representations, okay, so you got the lovers is typically uh, ruled by Gemini, the element of air, and Mercury, the planet Mercury. So remember when I was telling you that it, this card can mean um, several different things. Okay, so let's talk about what it could mean psychologically. So you have the male representing the masculine, which is often considered the conscious mind, the thoughts that we typically have that we're aware of. Then you have the female, which is the unconscious mind, which is behind the scenes that we are only aware of when they slip into consciousness. But 
that unconscious typically drives our um, behaviors. Sometimes we do things out of the blue and didn't realize it from our unconscious mind. So then what does the angel represent psychologically? It can represent um, the intermediary, intermediary between those minds and the divine. So some would say the super conscious mind. And then, of course, the divine would be divine inspiration or energy. So now let's look at what everybody is doing in this card. Okay, so if you can see, if you can look closely, the man representing the conscious mind is looking at the woman, but the woman is not looking at the man. What is the woman doing? Representing the unconscious, she's looking at the angel, angel Raphael. So you have the conscious to the unconscious, the unconscious to the superconscious, call it transpersonal. And then from there, the angel who is considered metaphysically to be the intermediary between um, God the divine and onto people. The angel is bestowing his blessings on the two figures. So that is the psychological um, interpretation of that. That typically what we have to do is when we meditate, for example, we try to connect with, we go within, we go inside ourselves, and then through that, through our unconscious, we go to and look, we go, to go out, you have to go in, so you have to go into your, um, your deeper self, and then that way we can connect with spirits, angels, um, the divine, however you want to kind of um, interpret all of that. Now, when we're looking at, let's say, um, fortune telling, divination type of things, let's look at the lover's card in it that way. So, when we're looking at that, we have two lovers. Generally, the lover's card represents some form of relationship. And not only a relationship, but a relationship where there are choices to be made. Sometimes um, I see this card when someone is in a relationship or maybe um, in a relationship, but there is another relationship in the background. But in any case, there's a choice to be made about usually about wanting to work on the relationship, end the relationship, um, enhance the relationship. But it also can represent, like I was telling you psychologically, about one's relationship with oneself. Because we have the masculine and the feminine within us, we do have the divine within us. At times, a lover's card can talk about self-love or the lack of self-love for yourself. Setting aside the just strictly romantic relationship aspect of it, what else could, could it mean? Like I mentioned earlier that if this was a financial, if the, the querent had a financial question, this would mean something different and that's true. Is that let's say that someone came to you and they wanted to, to know about their business. They're a small business owner. They have a partner they're working with. What's happening? Now the lovers can represent the relationship between he and his business partner about how that's going. And of course, again, the other cards will um, delineate how all of that kind of comes together. And that is the lover's card um, in a nutshell. Um, whenever you see the lover's card, I want you to, and you're doing a reading, I want you to really slow down because there is a lot to this card. 
there's a lot that it can mean. So um, as a word of advice, try to take your time. It may be a time to look at the stop signs and the yield signs and pay careful attention about what's going on around it so that this card can make um, a lot of sense to you. Okay, well, that's about it. As always, uh, I appreciate uh, your support. I'm going to put some links in the bottom if you're interested in supporting this channel on Patreon. Please do so. I have um, um, extra videos and different things that you could take advantage of. Okay, well, good to be back with y'all, and I will see you all in a future video.